Thanks for rolling up. Uh. Twisting one of my, uh, what is this, afternoon spliff joints. I ain't even got the blunts on me right now. But this, uh, Jim Watch and come November, voters in Cripple Creek now will be deciding on legalizing recreational and medical marijuana in that community. You saw that. Cripple, Cripple Creek. Where, 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 where are we at? Did they, did they show? Okay. Colorado. We in Colorado. Watch and come November, voters in Cripple Creek now will be deciding on legalizing recreational and medical marijuana in that community. You saw as Asti Portillo spoke to those for and against it. There's a lot of issues that involve marijuana. Sheriff Jason Mike Sull, one of the many to speak last night against the city's proposed ordinance. Here's the biggest issue we have in Cripple Creek. We don't have the resources here to, de to deal with the behavioral health issues, the ambulance services. You have two ambulances. On July 25th, the pro marijuana group handed over nearly 400 signatures to the city clerk's office to get the ordinance on city council's agenda. There was a line that imposed a 5% excise tax. Well, right there, we cannot make that decision. That's a Tabor violation. Councilwoman Melissa Trenary said the ordinance was rejected because any taxation is a decision for the voters and residents like Alex Best. I was able to sign the petition. Those for the legal. So hold, hold on. Yeah, why, why wouldn't you put the ordinance up for the, for the citizens to vote then? Instead of just now, I mean, saying no, just just put the shit up and let let the people decide. Organization of marijuana say it'll generate more revenue to take pressure off of casinos being the main source. The casinos did get hit hard during the pandemic, being closed for a while. The ordinance stating all revenue from the excise taxes will go to the general fund, and city council will be directed to use 25 percent of tax revenue to promote marketing for Cripple Creek. Having more tax money, hopefully we can regain some of those events that bring a lot of people into town and that'll help small businesses. A big decision for the small town later this year. If it does pass on the November ballot, then council would have their work cut out for them. Why? What, what would be the issue? Because like, like Colorado, it's already legal there. Why, why did y'all not... Why did, why did y'all not allow this shit right away? See, see, that's one of the, the problems that, that I have with, with the towns who, who be like, no, even though the state says, says okay, we, we, we can, the state says it's legal, the town folk be like, nah, we don't want that shit here. And then you get hit with some shit that you know what I mean, y'all not prepared for. And, 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 and the money that y'all was getting in, like the pandemic fucked up a bunch of towns. Especially small towns, bro. That was Ashley Portillo reporting for us tonight. Now, the ballot language still has to be approved by the Cripple Creek City Council and the Cripple Creek Police Department. They told us they'll support whatever the voters decide. That's because the police department won it. The police department won it because that's going to be tax money that they can uh, use to, I guess, big up the force or some shit like that, um, which I'm always against. I'm always against any police uh, getting getting any kind of weed money, any weed money, because um, they've been fucking arresting niggas for weed for the longest. But, I mean, I'm just a stoner talking shit on here. 